Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you've been watching my videos for about any length of time, then you know I have a pretty strong working relationship with the brand Creality. Over the past couple of years, they've sent me several of their 3D printers, along with some of their other gadgetry. Well, I'm happy to say that last week, my rep sent me a couple of boxes of upgrades and new products to try out. The first thing that they sent me was an upgrade to my Falcon 2 laser engraver. My machine was originally equipped with a 22 watt laser module. Recently, Creality has released a more powerful 40 watt laser module that's a drop in upgrade for the Falcon 2. First thing I did was take some time and figure out what the new feed and speed graphs for the 6mm plywood that I usually cut are going to look like. The graph is very predictable and linear as far as the relationship to the thickness versus the speed and percentage of power for the cut. It looks to be almost exactly one half the speed and feed that I was using with the 22 watt laser module. Something super neat about this module is that it allows you to go from a normal beam diameter to a precise beam diameter. What I think it's doing is disabling half the diodes, giving you a finer curve. With the laser module in precise mode, the feeds and speeds are very similar to what I was using with the 22 watt laser module. This is a super useful feature and I'll be doing a dedicated video on this piece of kit in the near future. According to my rep, the 40 watt module is available in the Creality online store and can be purchased separately from the Falcon 2 machine itself. So if you have the Falcon 2 laser engraver in the 5, 10 or 22 watt configuration, this might be an upgrade that you'll want to pick up. I know right now on the Creality website, they're running a lot of Black Friday sales. Be sure to check them out this weekend. The second item that they sent me to review is the new Ferret Scanner Pro. This is an updated version of the Ferret Scanner that I reviewed about half a year ago. This scanner unit itself appears to be very similar to the one that I already reviewed. The big difference in this kit hardware wise is the addition of the new Wi-Fi bridge module. This really helps with buffering issues when capturing scans using your phone. Also, Creality Scan is finally available for iOS. This makes the scanner compatible with just about any device. The third thing they included in my care package was a camera for my K1 printer. Personally, I think the K1 should come standard with the camera like it does with the K1 Max, but obviously that's not my call. The installation was super easy and completed by simply plugging the camera into the wire harness that's located above the front right lead screw. I had to remove the little plastic retainer that was double sided sticky tape to the side glass in order to get the camera to slide into the proper position. It comes off super easy, I just gave it a twist and it popped right off. Once the camera's in place and the screws installed, go to the settings tab and click the slider to enable the camera. The printer's firmware already has the option in place for the camera, all it needs is to be activated. Once that's done, your printer will be able to automatically record time lapses of your prints and save them to the USB drive. You may have noticed that I took a couple weeks off of making videos. It was all starting to feel a little bit winter garden-y for my liking. During this time away from YouTube, I've really been putting my prosthetic hand through its paces and sadly, once again, I found that plastic, even engineering grade PA12 plastic has proven to be a poor choice as far as materials to build fingers out of. This last week, I had the P2 of my index finger snap at a most inconvenient time and place. Thankfully, I had the previous version of my hand in my backpack and I was able to quickly switch back to using it for the rest of the day. This has led me to finally pull the trigger and order a full set of finger components in magnesium aluminum from PCBWay. They should arrive in a couple of weeks. It'll be interesting to see just how hard the SLS material is, being that it isn't a rolled and extruded form of aluminum. Please be on the lookout for my upcoming product review videos. I'm pretty excited about the new scanner and I have a pretty cool project planned for it. That's about all the exciting news that I have for you right now. Please remember to like, subscribe, share my videos. If you have time, leave a comment in the comment section. It really does help with the algorithm. Thanks for watching.